So now we're looking at uh, planet Earth okay. as if we were to see it from, um, Wait, from is, space. Is there going to be popcorn or what? <laughs> Dr. Ohad Shemer is an astronomer at the University of North Texas, north of Dallas. Inside their planetarium, he's showing me a simulation of what the night sky would have looked like on this spot 100 years ago. This is an incredible view. Indeed. But unfortunately, if we go to present times and we uh, can uh, add the effects of light pollution gradually, Oh, wow. The Milky Way is gradually disappearing from view. Many of the fainter stars are disappearing, and it basically uh, gets reflected from the sky and, and creates what we call air glow. That glow of city lights obscures our view of the stars, but it's not the only thing getting in the way. The first satellite was launched on October 4th, 1957 by the Soviet Union, and since then we've launched tens of thousands of these objects into space. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, space debris is a problem, just like any type of pollution, near-Earth orbit is also polluted. Every little green dot is a satellite orbiting the Earth. Now, the problem nowadays is that when each of these little points um, reflects light from the sun, when we take images of the night sky uh, with our uh, state-of-the-art observatories, we are more and more likely to see in many of these images mm -hmm contamination of light from these sources, from these artificial sources. And sometimes they would simply go across our objects of interest and ruin our images. And removing those artifacts is becoming increasingly more difficult over time. So we are trying as, as a community, as a community of astronomers, trying to control that to some extent. But again, it's not easy. It involves many countries, politics. Humans are the worst. Probably. 